Hey, Wilmy Wood, it's Rochelle Lefebvre from Under the Dome. It's so good to see you nice again. Nice to see you again, Sheila. You got some major fans. I, I'm very lucky. You yeah. are Brazil. <laughs> Let's just talk Brazil. Can you have that? You had one word to describe your Brazilian fans, and it was. Oh, I said they were fierce. They are. They're they amazing, are. and they yeah. have questions for you. So okay. I'm going to ask you some fan questions, if okay, that's okay. Cool. All right, so one of the questions is, um, first of all, what do you think of the Brazilian fans? <laughs> I love my Brazilian fans. They're also very supportive. Um, every now and then, I, I sort of troll out my bad efforts at Portuguese on Twitter, and, uh, and they've been very, uh, very welcoming. <laughs> very non-judgmental, my non bad Portuguese. I appreciate that very much. I that, do. That question was from Alice, and she also wants to know, um, just before we get into Dome, she wants to know your favorite health snack, how old your dogs are, and she loves you so much, my queen. <laughs> um, nobody, nobody wants me as their queen, I promise you. Um, uh, okay, my dogs are, Jack is, a, they're rescues, uh -huh. so it's hard to know exactly. I think that Jack is about six, and I think that Nugget, who's my newest addition, is probably about a year and six to nine months, somewhere okay. in there. My favorite health food snack. Um, it, it's only a health food if I eat a certain amount of them, if I count them, because otherwise when I eat the whole bag, it's roasted salted cashews. Oh, yeah. And if you eat the whole bag oh, like yeah. I can, it's not a health food anymore. Yeah. It's just like yeah. a it's like a, a fat binge. <laughs> it's healthy fat. But, yeah, um, it's healthy fat. Yeah. It's like me eating six avocados. I understand. Right, right. Yeah. So in moderation, I would say roasted salted cashews. And I would like to on record as saying that I liked kale before it was cool. There it is. Oh. I'm bringing you kale from my greenhouse. Oh, Just I'll take now it. Now that I know that. Yeah, All right. yeah, yeah. Now we got a question from Finland. Okay, Siri. Okay. Describe the relationship between Julia and Barbie in this season. As complicated as ever. Oh! Um, that's a tough one to answer without giving anything away. Uh, let's just say that I, I think that Barbie and Julia thought that they were through the most of their challenges. Right. And it turns out that what they face this season is uh, is is pretty much making every other challenge look like a cakewalk. Well, I tell you what, I'm really I mean, struggling. Right at the end, you guys are just like everything's gonna be fine. We're gonna get out of here. We're gonna have kids. We'll do anything you want. Right before the hypothermia. Mm -hmm. So I'm expecting all that to happen. Yeah, I think <laughs> I think the writers sat down and they were like, all right, so love conquers all. Let's prove it. <laughs> like let's like whatever we could possibly throw at them. And so right. yeah, they actually spend. They actually spend a, a little, quite a bit of time apart um, this season, trying to kind of, trying to oh. find their way back to each other and not quite being able to get there. And that's emotional as much as, as it is geographical. That's heartbreaking. Oh, yeah. all right. Well, I guess it'll all unfold starting June 25th. It'll be worth it. All right, all the right. The payoff good. will be worth it. Okay. This I know. That I love. Yeah. That's a great answer. Yeah. Okay, one more question. Emily says, what is the major difference between Julia and yourself? Major difference between Julia and myself. Um, it's not stubbornness, because I'm equally as stubborn as she is. Uh, I would say that she's better at sitting on her feelings. Right. I'm really not good at that. It probably serves me well as an actor <laughs> in life. It's a little a little vulnerable sometimes. Um, but yeah, she's much better. She's much better at just kind of putting it all in the back and right. deciding when to when to offer it up. I wish I had that skill. I don't have that skill.